Hey, how's everyone doing today? Um, today, I actually just discovered that today is actually the last day of April. I was thinking April had an extra day, you know, before May 1st, because I know. What you say? I should sit down? All right. Because, um, you know, um, May May 1st it just signifies um, changes, signifies new beginnings, actually. A lot of things are going to start. That's correct. That's correct. That's correct, sir. That's right. It's like it's fishing, you know. Oh, my God. <laughs> I didn't see that coming. Anyways, that's his own kind of fishing exploits. Anyways, so back to what I was saying. Michael, don't throw anything into the river, okay? Into the lake. You see, now you're going to have a hard time picking that up. It's gone. You want us to stop moving? No, I can't get it. It's already in the water. Sorry. Yeah, so um, I was saying I was a little concerned. because No, I don't want to sit down, son. May signifies... No, thank you. It signifies new beginnings and, um, you know, many persons will be going back to work and life is going to start kicking back to normal because, you know, the COVID situation, many countries are beginning to get it under control, relaxing their uh, stay-at-home laws and all of that good stuff. Micah, be careful, okay? Relaxing their stay-at-home, you know, laws and all of that stuff. So we, we, ex we expect things to um, begin to get back, gradually get back to normal. Um, but, um, you know, for many, this has been tough times, really tough times, times of intense trials, times of intense adversity, you know, times of intense um, questioning. So, and then these changes might continue, you know, there's going to be, there may be a lot of changes that will be made in this. I just wanted you to stay strong. You know, you got to stay strong and believe in God, believe in yourself. Believe that, oh, look at the birds. The birds are coming out. Wow, it's so beautiful, right? Let's see, where are they? Let's follow them. Can we see that? Ah uh, no. And it's all over all over the in the background. Yeah, over here. Yeah. Anyways, so um there's a lot of changes that will happen, you know, but I just want you to stay strong, stay strong, stay focused, don't give up, don't give up no matter what, alright? Um the aim of all of the adversity is to attack your joy, you know, is to make you to lose hope to give up, but you gotta keep holding on. You gotta keep holding on, you know. You gotta keep holding on no matter what, because you're gonna come out. You're gonna come out stronger, uh, like Dr. Pastor Paul and Nature says. After the bend, the road goes on, you know. After the bend, the road. Michael, be careful. The road goes on. It's just only abandoned life. Just only abandoned life. You're gonna find your way. You're gonna keep going. I love. The, wow, the birds are very beautiful. I hope we can see them. Can we see them? Let's see. Yeah. Well, if you look hard, you can see them. If you really look hard, you can see them. You know, so after the band, the road goes on. You must never give up no matter what. Uh, you must keep your joy, because if you lose your joy, you lose everything, you know? If you lose your joy, wow, this birds are like doing a parade. If you lose your joy, you lose everything. I pray that God will help you to keep, you know, keep your joy, keep your peace, and just keep your focus, because if you stay happy, if you, if, you, if you keep your joy, if you find a way to stay excited in this season, if you find a way to stay, just stay happy, stay stay connected with God and with your community, you know, with your inner self. I believe you will come out stronger. We will come out stronger, okay? Or it's IK Mighty Moscow, Russia, sending you all the love and saying, hey, May's gonna bring us good news. May's gonna bring us good news. It's gonna bring us love, joy, peace, and plenty. And I also wanna have you, LA family, the LA family is gonna be reading the book of Psalms. Yes, talk to me, sir. Mommy's not here, is she? She's home. Yeah. LA family, we're going to be reading the book of Psalms, you know, three chapters a day. It's just going to be a good time of refreshing. And I invite you to join me tomorrow live, 5 p.m. GMT plus one. We'll be reading the Bible live. Okay, we'll be reading the Bible live. Like people from all over the world are going to connect in. It's Labor Day, so you don't have an excuse, okay? So join in and let's read the Bible together. Let's just read it aloud. It's power just reading the Bible aloud, all right? Well, God bless you. This is your boy, I came out of Moscow, Russia. Yay!